This is Dryosaurus, also known as the Oak Lizard. It was a fast, agile dinosaur that lived in large groups to avoid predators and is one of the most well-known ornithopods today. This guy is an absolute cutie. Let's go through these subspecies right quick. First, we have our original, which is plus 5% speed, plus 20% jump control and jump height. Then we have Elderay, which is 10% speed. That one looks really nice, nice and slender. It's sleek. I like this one. Then we have our next one, which is 30% attack and 0.15 bleed on bite. Then we have plus 20% health, plus 5% weight and plus 33% hunger. This is interesting. I haven't seen a hunger added in any of these subspecies yet. And then we have back to our original. We're going to go through the calls right quick. Here is our broadcast. <laughs> To call. Cute. Threaten. Ah, you need some feathers on those elbows to really look scary. Four call. Nice. Talk. Ooh, those are a little too similar. I think this is our shake. Look at him wiggle. It's so cute. Our scratch. Yes. A mystery button. a look around and panic <laughs> i think so i think that's what it is and then our invite button is the same as the two call now we're gonna look at the female skin right quick that's a lot lighter right here in the back towards the tail and the mid tones right here but everything else is pretty much the same all right and here's our baby model he is super bright look at this bright orange you're not going to be able to hide with this one but we're going to go through his calls right quick here is our broadcast <laughs> Considering the originals is already high pitched. Yeah, that makes sense. Two call. Key threaten. Four call. Talk. Here we go. A shake. That's a cute boy. Scratch. His tail is very thick. I just noticed. Uh, look around. Ooh super curious and panic all right let's take a look at the movement abilities this is our walk we barely see him he's barely taller than the grass our run jump then here's our sit animation super cute then our sleep extra cute i love it our get up that's it for our baby all right and here is our adult model wow they are way bigger than that baby that was barely taller than the grass they are much bigger all right let's go through the animations right quick here's our walk Ooh -wee. a very stompy stompy walk here we go our run here's our jump <laughs> uh let's see crouch yes crouch walk we got that big thick tail here and then we have our sit cute just like the baby sleep then we're gonna get up all the way perfect here's our eat animation oh i love it Oh, it's even got the purple mouth, um, berry juice. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Here's our precise movement. So our turn in place is super fast. Here's our backup, our left, our right. Here's our pickup. And our carry, ooh, they made it really tiny, wow. <laughs> And then we're gonna drop that. It got really big. Here's our drink animation. Oh, wow. He just said deep in the water. I washed all of the juice off. Look at him look around. Oh my God. Wow. That makes sense though. This guy's got to look out. Then we have our swim animation. 
not bad actually it makes sense to me it's pretty slow as it should be all right let's take a look at the skins right quick this is our default female skin then we have our mouse skin raccoon tropic albino rustic uchi camouflage melanistic and chalupa <laughs> albino does not look albino at all just gonna say that right now all right let's look at our abilities we have one head slot for everything so we just have cause medium damage with our bite then senses we have evader Focus on evasion, increases turn radius by 30%, increases jump by 10%. That's crazy. It already has a really good turn radius. Escape artist, focus on only escaping rather than fighting, increasing speed by 10%, but with drawbacks of 5% damage output and 5% armor reduction. And then we have front limb, paddling legs, uses its little limbs to push in water, increasing swim speed, oxygen swim turning radius. That's really good. So we can have better swim ability. And then we have digger, little arms of the dry will help dig food and allow it to eat faster increases consumption rate by 50% and turn in place by 10%. You're going to have the best turn radius with this guy. Uh, metabolism. Rugivore increases health recovery rate by 20%, wards off venom as it increases venom heal rate by 40%, helps you stay hydrated, increasing stamina by 5% and decreasing thirst depletion rate by 40%. Zero drawbacks there. Evolved gut, able to eat almost anything available, a HP recovery by 50% reduced due to mushrooms, increases food depletion rate by 100% but decreases thirst depletion rate varied diet bolsters your attack damage by 15 percent but decreases speed by five percent wow insectivore subsist mainly on insects must eat 70 percent more than other diets in order to keep up it increases health by 30 points and increases turn by five percent mm, i don't like that one that much nusivore subsists primarily on nuts increases bleed heal rate by 40 percent and decreases incoming damage by eight percent mm. slightly increases thirst repletion rate by 20 percent slightly that is not slightly and then rizophagus a uh, subsist primarily on roots and flowers increases health recovery rate by 20 percent bleed heal rate by 25 percent turn by five percent stamina by 10 percent increases thirst depletion rate by 50 percent as the diet consists only of roots the dry source must eat more to sustain itself by 30 percent these are all really helpful for surviving if you die as a dry it's on you <laughs> it really is at this point hide we have resilient scales increases bleed and venom heal rate by 30 percent wow bleed and venom are not going to affect you at all at this point if you just stack up for that kind of build and survival aside stacks up more food by 30 percent increases stamina by 10 percent that's pretty good uh back limb we have kick a kick doing medium damage and light knockback to who <laughs> dryo's too small to be doing knockback and then leap increases jump height alongside air control and reduces fall damage our tail we have light tail gain five percent speed counterbalance to gain 10 percent turn and then tail attack, a tail attack that deals low damage and knockback to critters. And then our voice call, we have healing squeak, a squeak that increases the healing rate of all party members within 60 meters for 30 seconds. That's pretty good and explains why they might be hard to kill. All right, let's go through ability animations right quick. First, we have bite, very quick, fast, snappy. Then we have kick attack. Ooh, it's just one legged kick. I thought it was gonna be a jump kick like Concavenator. Then we have tail slap. Ooh, that's fast too, and that definitely hurts. It does not back as well. And then last but not least, we have Healing Squeak, but I can't use it because I'm not in a group. But it's just a loud squeal, just like the uh, broadcast, so it doesn't really matter. But either way, those are all the ability animations, and that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, definitely check out my other mods. I cover a lot of different videos and a lot of different games. I don't just do Path of Titans, so uh, if you're interested in anything similar, definitely check those out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video.